Amanda, thank you for joining me today. Each month we bring in somebody from the community college and just chat with them about what they do at the community college and share with them about the programs that they're involved in. So thank you for, for being here. So as we begin, share with the community how long you've been with the college and most recently you became SGA advisor. Um, I came to the college um, five years ago. I was a work study um, in the continuing ed department and so I started out there. I was finishing my two-year degree and I was offered a job as work study and then after a year there I was offered the position of administrative assistant to the law enforcement programs with Alita and then I worked for five years and then this um, SJ position opened up in July and I applied for it and so I've been there almost a year this July. Yep, how are you enjoying it so far? It is very different but I really do like it. It's Good. very, um, I've got to see all aspects of the college the continuing ed side and so now I see the student services side and I enjoy working with the students. Perfect. Well, SGA stands for Student Government Association. Mm -hmm. So tell us who can be involved in SGA and, and so about some of the students that are in, that are in the governing body of SGA. Um, any student can be in SGA. Um, you don't have to fill out an application or anything. We meet every Tuesday at 345 in the Warren Student Center in the boardroom. And um, early college students, they have their own SGA program, but they are more than welcome to join ours. And any um, curriculum student on campus can join SGA. You just come to any meeting or you can email um, me and just let me know and you can come and participate in any event. Perfect. SGA, what is the mission of SGA? And talk a little bit about some of the, the vision and some of the goals for SGA. SGA is to promote the welfare of the students. Um, we establish laws and we govern um, the student um, elections because we have elections every um, April, every spring. And so we um, establish a budget and, you know, my role is to advise and work with um, the students and then in turn the students work with me and we work with administration on, you know, things that we want to see at the college and see done at the college. And they, um, the students pretty much run the show, but I'm just here to kind of lead and guide. Yeah. And so really you serve as a voice too from yes. the students to administration making sure that their needs are mm -hmm. met and then the campus is full of activity. Yeah. So talk about some of the events that y'all do throughout the year. Um, at the beginning of the year, we do a welcome back celebration and that's just kind of welcome everybody back on campus. And um, so this year we, um, I think we did like cookies and mm -hmm. coffee and then, you know, just kind of, you know, be on campus for people to see, you know, what building to go to. And you know, some people, I mean, even though it's a small campus, they don't know where to go. So just, you know, be a, you know present on campus. And so um, then in the fall, we did a fall fest that we do every year in October. And um, then we did a canned food drive for canned food drive for Hurricane Matthew victims for um, some of the county schools. And then in December, we rode the Christmas parade float, mm -hmm. which was very exciting. It was very cold, but we enjoyed <laughs> that. And then um, we did a welcome back celebration in January for the new students that came for the spring semester. Um, you know, during Black History Month, we had three um, documentaries, yep. and we showed those, and then we had movie nights, so, you know, sometimes they come and sometimes they don't, and then we have Spring Fling this um, March 30th um, from 11 to 2, and then 4 to 6, so we try to hit the day students and the night students, mm -hmm. and so this year we're going to do... Um, a little different, you know, with our 50th anniversary coming up, we're going to do the 50th um, anniversary happy birthday theme. And so we're going to do um, karaoke and, you know, just celebrate 50. And have a fun birthday party. Yes, yeah. This is like what it and is. That's what I was about to ask you as well. With the 50th anniversary, how is SGA involved in, in that? I know you have been involved with that with the trivia and then mm -hmm. of course the spring fling um, but are they excited about the 50th anniversary? Yes they and are and um, the vice president she came up with the idea you and her came up with the idea with the trivia to send out um, questions every Monday and so we've had three winners so far mm -hmm. and so I think people enjoy that and you know you, you, they don't know anything about the college and what you know what happened a long time ago and so it is nice that people are you know taking time to look up answers and figure it out and Great. so they're excited about it, and they're excited about the birthday thing. Right, right. Well, and it's always fun having the students involved on campus and, you know, just have a lot of student activity. So thank you for what you do, what you do for that. Um, so as we go forward, what is your contact information in case students want to get involved with SGA, and how do they do that? Okay, if anybody, um, my office is located in the um, Warren Student Center where the 
Fitness Center is, and you can um, email me at arainer at sampsoncc.edu, or you can contact me, um, 592-8081, extension 4003. Perfect. Well, Vanna, thank you for being here with us. And do you have anything else as we close? Um, just if anybody would like to see anything on campus, that's, you know, when I go visit classes, you know, I always tell them, anything that you would like to see on campus, we're here for you. You know, any kind of sports, any kind of activity, a movie night or a meeting or a group that you want to start, all you have to do is just let me know and I'm here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.